A few days back, I was browsing the web and stumbled on this chair swing, and thought to myself I could make something interesting with it. The first step was just a simple block out. I'm keeping everything very simple here, starting with the main object. I'm going to model just the main shapes and keep them as simple as possible. Since I'm designing this shot on the go, I want to put in a camera to help me figure out the framing and make use of the composition guides. I'll use the composition thirds as a start and place my main object on the left of the composition. The rest of the block out is just using a plane that I extrude to form the walls and the floor. In the same way, I'm making the walls, ceiling and the opening for the windows. Same goes for the furniture, as at this point I just want to lay out the general composition of the image. I'm also going to place some basic lights with rectangles, one to fill the scene and another to create a hot spot in the image. I also want to have something at the window to make the light more interesting. Now we can go on to refining the whole thing. I'll start by bringing in the main model. I've already made it along with its materials, so all I have to do is place it where the simplified version was. For the floor, I'll use a nice plugin I found for generating tiles and planks. It's called Floor Generator and I've linked it in the description below if you want to check it out. Once I have the planks I like, I can quickly test out a few materials that come with the Floor Generator until I find something that I like. I'll use the same Floor Generator to make the planks on the wall. The cool thing is, everything stays procedural and I can edit it at any time. For the furniture, everything is done with simple box modeling and pushing vertices around until I get something that looks good. The only more interesting model is the side table. I started with a circle and inset and filled with quads. Then a few extrusions to get the top. For the legs, I started with a circle and just extruded it down. Then used the knife tool to trim it. The way the legs are placed is rather complex, so to get it right, I will just instance the leg around the pivot point of the table, and once I start editing one of the legs, all the others will follow until I get the placement I want. The materials for the whole scene are very straightforward, just a diffuse texture and then a bump or a normal map for detail. Most materials don't require more if you've made those two correctly. To fill up the scene, I've used a few models from older projects and a few models from Polyheaven. I'm trying not to bring too much attention to them as the main point of the image was the suspended chair. Only asset that is more interesting is the rug. It started as a plane and I cut out a random shape from it, gave it thickness and subdivided it to get rid of the sharp corners. To get the hairs I used the particle system and in the particle edit mode combed everything in random directions and to give it a little more volume, I used the puffing brush. Then, just add enough interpolated children and gave them a bit of clumping and roughness. The material is a photo of a rug plugged into a hair BSDF set to transmission. The right side of the image still looks rather empty, so I modeled these wall lamps that I thought had an interesting design that fits the overall feel of the room. At this point, I wanted to get a more dramatic look for the image and there isn't much I can do other than playing around with lighting. For that, I place the key light so that it doesn't hit the wall as much, making the whole render more contrasting. In the compositor, I added a color mix node set to divide and pick the color from the render I want to appear white. That way, I'm making sure I have the right white balance. The rest is just adding a little more contrast and then a slight bloom on the highlights in the image. Since I'm still not sold on the composition, I decided to render at a higher resolution and figure out how to crop the image later. So here are the results. Subscribe for more tutorials and once again, thanks for watching.